Yeah, yeah, hi, this is Dr. Leif Rogers. I wanted to introduce Vectra, which is a 3D imaging system that we use here in the office. We just acquired it recently. And uh, today we're going to take a look at how it can be effective for um, simulating augmentation. And it uh, is a great tool for communication, gives uh, patients an idea of what they can expect to some degree, and also just a way for them to communicate to me visually what it is they're trying to achieve. Okay, so this is a, uh, a demo patient, not a patient of mine, it's one that actually comes in the system. And you can see that she has a little bit of uh, deflation of the breasts or pseudotosis, probably has had children and breastfed, but there's a lot of reasons to have this, this look. So we're gonna uh, select an implant. So when you hit select implant, it'll actually give you a list of all the implants that are available. So you can actually even use different implants per side. So say on the right side, or if you do both and pick one for both sides, and then, so there you go, that's what it looks like with that implant in place. So that's with the implant in place. So that's simulated, and it's based on volumetric uh, information based on the size and shape of the implant and the size and shape of the breasts. So let's, say, so let's go with a little bit something a little bigger this time. Let's do a, a four, 425. So that's, so, so the, as you can see, the simulations aren't perfect. There's a little bit of irregularity in certain aspects where the picture isn't perfect, but it gives us a good idea. So you see the shape is very different between the two. So there's the first one, smaller, rounder implant, larger shaped implant. And so we have all the different brands here. We have Allergan, Sientra, and even Ideal Implant. Okay, this is a shadow image of the two together. So this is no implant and with an implant. So you can kind of see where the change, where the change is and what the difference is. You can do this, like a before and after side by side. And then here, it's simulating as if you have, uh, you know, wearing a top. So which makes a difference because sometimes it's hard to tell what a breast looks like unless you're wearing clothing. And most of the world obviously sees you with clothing on, including yourself. So again, you can see what the difference is with clothing. This is like the uh, an image of where the implant sits underneath and where the change in the, uh, the volume is. So there is such thing as the perfect placement of a breast implant behind breast tissue and that varies depending on what the breast looks like before you start. The nice thing about these programs is it allows us to communicate on a level that we couldn't before. Uh, in the past, we, I would ask patients to bring pictures of breasts that they liked because it would give me an idea of proportions and things. But now we can do that on your actual body. So we can take a picture, a three-dimensional image, for instance, and uh, we can rotate it. So we can do that, put the implant in, and then we get an idea what it's going to be like before you even do the surgery.